A lot of you guys said that when I made the wing bowl, I made my life difficult. So today, we're gonna do it the easy way. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about. Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Woodworking. I'm Ed, welcome to my shop. So what we've got here is a piece of walnut that is about uh, eight inches square or about 250 millimeters. And it's about three inches or 75 millimeters uh, deep. I think I've got those conversions <laughs> correct. But last time I made the wing bowl, and I'll put a uh, you know link up here that you can go and check that out. A lot of people said that I made it difficult and I shouldn't have, uh, I, you know, I should have turned it more on the way. So, you know what, I'm gonna give that a whirl today. So what we're going to do is, the, the legs are going to touch the, uh, the table, but the center of the bowl won't. So it'll be, you know, a little bit between. So these are going to be, the edges are gonna be curved down and curved around. And, uh, you know, we're just going to cup that bowl in. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I've never done this before. So as always, it's going to be an experiment. But I do know, especially with these type of bowls, I get a little nervous because I'm not quite there with the gouges, so I go back to my comfort zone and with the carbides, but I will be doing, I'll be trying to do as much as I can with the um, bowl gouge, and, but then when I go into the inside of those wings, I'll, I'm gonna switch over to a carbide so I can uh, get that uh, nice and smooth. So let's stop talking. Let's get this uh, over to the bandsaw, knock the corners off, get it mounted to the lathe, and let's go have some fun.
right, let's just also talk about what's going on here. So the wing under here is pretty thin across here. So I'm not going to be able to, you know, flush it up and, and level it out just because if it happens to be a little bit out of sync, um, I could dig into one area, knock it off while trying to do the other. So I'm just gonna draw a circle um, where I'm going to start going in and then I'll manually sand and then round over these um, just to ensure I don't knock those off because I don't know, it's probably maybe three or four millimeters. Um, so it's not very much. So that's the plan. Gonna take a Forstner bit, hollow this out a bit and then dig the rest out with a bowl gouge. <laughs>
that finished up really nicely. I need to turn it around and take that uh, tenon off. And I think off camera, uh, let me let me get this off and let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm, uh, it's hard to see, but hopefully you can see on the camera those lines right here. I'm just not happy with that. I may not be able to get under here in everything, but I want to try to get those lines out. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to put this up on the jumbo jaws, but I'm going to try and that'll make it easy to get this uh, tenon out. So I'll be right back. That was a lot of work, but I, it's worth it. Um, it's not perfect, and um, you know, I should have, this side here had the wood that was beat up, and probably should have made that at the bottom, but I think it, it turned out okay the way I kinda uh, beveled and uh, curved down that. Um, under here is not perfect. I can feel grooves in there from the tool, but I just couldn't get in there and smooth it out. But besides that, I think it turned out great. I mean, look at that. Let's see, can you see it? Yeah, there we go. It's just, uh, you know, I love that it's just barely off the, the, the table. Um, the, it just looks good with the curves. And uh, I'm not bragging about my work. I'm bragging about just the wood and the way it came out. Maybe I'm bragging on myself a little bit, but it was a lot of work. I hope that you did enjoy this. Um, if you want to do it, go at it. I'd love to see your pictures, um, but it's a lot of work. At least it was for me. Maybe I was doing it wrong, but I, I had a lot of fun, learned a lot of things, but it'll be a while before I make another one of these. I'll tell you that. <laughs> but if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, uh, comment, share it. All of those great things help the channel out and I would appreciate it immensely. Um, if this is your first time and you wanna see other videos of mine, click over here. If you wanna become a subscriber, hope you do, click up here, click the bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. And as always, I wish you and your family a blessed day. Thank you.